Now, the goal of this exercise will be to evaluate the forward price of an option, of a call, and benchmark it against the analytical price to get a feeling of, of things that are important in, in evaluating the price of an option value for real inversion. In the accompanying spreadsheet, there's two functions that will be handy. Um, Gauss Quad, uh, which provides Gauss Legendre, abscissae and weights over an integration interval A to B. And BS Ops, which is just a, a, a box standard black shoals or blacks formula implementation for uh, an undiscounted option price, be it a call or be it a put. So let's move to the spreadsheet. Uh, this one. Yes. So what I've already done is I've already set the, the parameters for Black Shoals. Uh, we're going to use an upper bound of integration of 100 just to begin with. I mean, you can bound the characteristic function exactly or use a, 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 an interval transformation, which we'll all see later. Number of points equal to 20. And here we'll compare the Fourier option price with the closed form solution. So let's do the closed form solution first. OK, so uh, in this spreadsheet, there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of implementations behind this. Um, some we'll only use later, but there's basically a standard Black Scholes function. It's not meant to be a, uh, something that is used in production because I haven't really implemented it in uh, any object oriented form whatsoever. It's just meant as a way to be able to use this quickly in VBA and, and play around with it to get a feeling for how it works. So there's a Gauss quadrature for Gauss Legendre. Uh, routines and some standard Black Scholes function, which we'll use in this part of the exercise. So, if I move to the closed form Black Scholes solution first, it's a call that we're pricing forward strike volatility and five years time to maturity. That sounds about right. Now let's try and do the, first we're going to do the T forward uh, probability, so ND2. Okay, so abscissae and weights. Let's do 20. Uh, we're going to integrate from zero to infinity where infinity here has been chosen as 100. And 20 points. Excellent. Now, the characteristic exponent, which is the log of the characteristic function, uh, we have to go to the slide for that one, is exactly this, um, the expression under the exponentiation here. So in particular, if we're using real valued u here, um, then we'll have a complex part here. Um, let's actually work it out on the whiteboard. What we have is i u f minus one half sigma squared tau times u and u plus i. Okay, so the this is the imaginary part, one of the imaginary parts, and then what we have here is minus one half sigma squared tau u squared which is real, uh, and then the imaginary part will be i u f uh, minus one half sigma squared tau u i. 
So first we start with the real part, minus one half sigma squared tau u squared. squared times time, is it time or tau, times u squared. The imaginary part, well, forget about the i, then is u times the log for the log forward minus one half times vol squared times time to maturity. And we've already multiplied it by u, so that seems to be the right thing. <coughs> 